Hi guys, it's Shay again from My Ava's Wind. I am back to do your uh, November 2021 Love Tarot Gumbo for the sign of Scorpio. Yes, it's Scorpio season. Um, and so I'm going to start off uh, November with Scorpio. Um, and it will later be followed by Sag. Um, so don't worry, that's soon coming. Um, if you've never seen any of my previous videos, I'm a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition, so I will be interpreting the cards at times from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective. If you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. You are so entirely welcome into Ayaba's Wind family. Um, if you'd like a private reading, you can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. All right, so the cards have been pre-shuffled. I just wanted to say um, one of the cards that popped out in the pre-shuffle um, was um, a card that says you've been cursed, you need a spiritual cleaning, okay? So just keep in mind, this is a general love reading. Some of the information may apply to you, all of it may apply or none of it may apply, okay? So if you feel like things are going um, awry in your life, things are not you know, going smoothly, you know, there's um, continuous accidents, bad luck, misfortune, sickness, um, car accidents, um, job loss, um, relationships breaking up, kids are bouncing off the walls, bad dreams. You're seeing dark shadows at night, okay? This is a sign that, in fact, um, you would want to get that investigated, okay, um, through um, someone who can investigate those types of um, phenomena or occurrences, all right? So let's get started. You guys know I hate shuffling. Um, I'm gonna shuffle on camera so you can see um, what cards jump, um, but I hate the sound of shuffling. So just give me a couple of minutes, um, usually about minute three or four, we're ready to go. Okay, this is a good opening card your wish comes true and spirit is blessing you with some signs okay you guys gotta watch for traps Okay, wow. Spirit is blessing you with some signs here, and that is that doesn't happen too often. Okay, I'll tell you the commentary in a minute. And this reading can cover the next several weeks, several days, several months. Okay, so these readings are timeless. And your intuition will let you know whether you should continue to listen to this reading or not, okay? Whether there's information that will apply to you or not. Okay, there's a description of someone in this love story, all right? Okay, let's, let me do one more. All right, so let's get started. So um, Spirit is saying this is almost like the equivalent of the star card um, in traditional classic tarot, okay? I'm not doing traditional tarot, classic tarot. There's, there's thousands of people that are doing that and they're good at what they're do, they do. So I'm gonna leave them to that. But <clears throat> this is the equivalent of the star card, okay? And it says your wish comes true. Okay, so whatever you've been wishing, wishing upon a star, wishing for this, wishing for that, Spirit is saying that it's going to be manifesting for you soon. As to what the time frame is, not sure. Okay, um, there's a Sag, Leo, or Aries energy, a fire energy that's figuring prominently for you guys. Yes, you are water, but you may have like a fiery element to you somewhere in your chart. 
Um, or you could be dealing with someone who has a fiery energy, okay? Sag Leo or Aries. But someone walked away too soon. Maybe it was a fire sign that walked away too soon. Or maybe you walked away from a fire sign too soon, okay? Prematurely. Maybe it was, you know, too intense, um, too emotional. You guys couldn't agree on things. Um, it was too, maybe too flammable, flammable or volatile. Okay, but there is a trap that's been set. So you guys got to watch out for <clears throat> traps. You got to watch out for pregnancy traps. You have to watch out for, you know, traps in um, contracts, um, written documentation. You got to watch out for traps as far as gossip traps are concerned. You know, someone bringing information to you. Oh, did you hear about such and such? What do you think about this? And then the moment you say something, they go run back and... and tell somebody they twist your words and then you get included in someone's drama okay but this person is wishing your downfall so maybe it's this person that is setting the traps or would like to set traps for you is also wishing your downfall okay someone is not wishing you well okay and maybe it's this person who is cursing you um you know wishing ill upon your name you know um directing negative energy energy towards you like i said when people do Brujerian, witchcraft, black magic, whatever it is that you understand it to be, they don't necessarily have to stand over a pot <laughs> conjuring or all of that. They can simply um, visualize your downfall. And if you are not prayed up, if you are not spiritually clean, if you are not vibrating high, yes, you can succumb to those things. However, if you are praying several times a day, if you're doing your spiritual baths, you're doing your med meditations, and you are um, staying away from drugs and alcohol, those things will not impact you or affect you. An amulet or, or, or an eye is needed for protection from envy, okay? So spirit is saying, that, you know, this person and what they're doing, they're directing so much negative energy towards you that you need something to um, deflect it, okay? So, you know, a crystal. Don't get a rounded, cutesy, little polished crystal. crystal. A crystal that has angles on it that can deflect negative energy from multiple directions away from you, okay? And and get it for around your neck. You know, I see everyone wearing um, evil eye bracelets and all that, those charms. No, that's great, but people are looking at you up here. So you need something to deflect in this region. Um, yes, we know you're Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but there is a watery energy. So there could be another water sign <coughs> involved um, or that they can have a watery element to them um, if they're another sun sign. Okay, but there is definitely a watery energy here. Okay, sudden shocking surprise is coming. So there's going to be sudden news coming from somewhere. It could be news of a pregnancy. It could be news of a passing um, news of uh, an engagement or a wedding, something is going to happen that's going to be rather sudden. The illusion is shattered, relationship is over, mask is off, pe false people are revealed, okay? So maybe, you know, it could be a sudden breakup. You know, it could be that, you know, maybe you thought things were going really well or your person thought things were going really well and all of a sudden it's it's cut off. Okay, that's a possibility. Keep in mind, this is this reading is pertaining to the people in your love story. Of course, you're the main attraction. You know, then there's your special person, aka your soulmate, your divine masculine, divine feminine, whatever you're into. <clears throat> I don't get into the politics of that. Um, then there are karmics on the side that people date. They even marry. They even have kids with thinking that they're the one when they're really not the one. Um, they're just there with that person. That person is there to teach them a lesson or two or three or four. Once those lessons are learned, you separate from that person and you find your way going into a harmonious union with your special person, okay? Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes your special person has too big of an ego that they can't own up to their own um, faults. They... Um, they can take responsibility for their actions. Um, they don't want to be held accountable, okay? Or they're a narcissist um, or there could be spell work. And so these are the things that 
could prevent you from going into union with your special person. But yoga prayer and meditation will benefit you right now. I'm sorry, the sun is um, switching directions, so it may be a little hard to see, okay? Um, so you definitely should be meditating. Um, if you have, you know, if you're catching evil eyes, people are wishing ill will on you. You know, I'm a big proponent of the mantras for protection. You can get your mala beads. They cost anywhere from like $10 to $200, $300. Okay, these are a little bit on the higher end because these are real crystals. Um, it's lapis lazuli. But anyway, you can start near the tassel, that first bead near the tassel. This is 108 beads. This is 108 repet repetitions, okay? And so one um, really good protection mantra is Om Doom Durgaye Namaha. Om Doom Durgaye Namaha, okay? And you would say that continually. Um, if you don't have mala beads, you can set your your um, your timer on your phone for about ten minutes and just <clears throat> just repeat it continually until that ten minutes is up, and that should be about one hundred and eight. Another um, good protection mantra is Om Ayudaye Namaha. Om Ayudaye Namaha, and you would go around Om Ayudaye Namaha. Oh my Udaye Namaha, oh my Udaye Namaha, oh my Udaye Namaha, and you would continue to go around, okay? Um, but you definitely got to do prayers, you got to do meditation. <coughs> I'm hearing um, a good bath for you would be a Grompe Saragüe, and so you can mix those herbs, say prayers over them, um, starting with your left hand. Um, once you bathe with um, and shower with soap and water, you rinse off and then you um, dump this from your neck down, okay? And you air dry. I'm seeing about three to five days. Three is really a good number for that, okay? To see if things clear up or if they alleviate or cut the negative energy that's being directed towards you. Um, okay, the love was too intense and I couldn't handle it, so I left, okay? So... This could be something that you're dealing with now currently. Um, it could have happened in the recent past or it may happen in the near future, okay? But it's something about um, someone needing clarity. It um, and it's, it says exactly what it is. The, the emotions were too intense. And so someone started freaking out, not knowing what to do, not knowing where the relationship was headed. And so maybe this person is entertaining um, leaving a relationship. And keep in mind, these feelings could be vice versa. This could be you feeling this way about your person or your person feeling this way about you. But a friend cannot be trusted. So you definitely got to watch your back. Someone does not have your best interests. It keeps alluding to like the undercurrent of this reading for you, Scorpio, <clears throat> is that you have people in your circle that cannot be trusted. Maybe this friend that cannot be trusted has straight hair, okay? Because it's giving you um, a description of this person, someone with straight hair, all right? I can't love you because I don't love myself. So there could be, you know, someone could be struggling with loving themselves. Maybe it could be manifesting as jealousy, um, envy, um, confusion, uh, resentment, okay? This person has challenges with self-love. And then finally, illness, time to go see a doctor. So what Spirit is saying, you know, if you have not set up your medical checkup, it should be about that time to do so. You should be going every three to six months um, from the time of this reading, okay? That's too many cards. We'll take these. Someone is at a crossroads. They're really at this point of, should I stay or should I go? Should I continue to invest my time and energy into this person? 
or not. Um, also, you should be watching um, the Scorpio videos that are out, especially if you have um, Scorpio in your um, in your moon rising or Venus. Okay, we have a time checkpoint. It keeps talking about like <coughs> a relationship ending. All right, we're going to stop with that. All right. So guys, yeah, it's it keeps alluding to the fact that a relationship is going to be ending. It could be a romantic uh, relationship, it could be a friendship, but something is on the, um, the edge of either going left or going right, okay? Um, relationship is based on the superficial. So what does that mean? It could be, there could be a relationship that you're in or that's in your, your, um, your love story that's based on sex. Um, it's based on uh, um, celebrity. Okay, who you are, who this person is, how you guys look. Okay, you know, superficiality, all right? Um, money card to the bank. So it could be based on money, you know, um, offering someone um, stability and security, financial wealth and stability and security. <clears throat> it could be that money is going to be coming in for you as well. So keep your eyes open, but also spirit wants you to monitor your money flow, okay? Someone is up worried in bed. This is like the equivalent of the, um, it could be like the nine of swords, um, between the eight of swords and the nine of swords energy. Um, maybe someone is feeling trapped. Maybe someone is feeling confused. Okay. Um, someone is worried about something. There's some kind of anxiety that has built up, but the ancestors and spirit guides want acknowledgement. So it could be, it could be that you might not be able to sleep because your ancestors are like, hello, we're here. We want to help you. You're ignoring us. You're not giving us attention. You're not giving us an opportunity to help you. We would like some acknowledgement. So in which case, if that's what's happening, set up an ancestor shrine. It does not have to be, you know, huge. Okay. You can put down a white candle a glass of water, some flowers, okay? You could put down a cup of black coffee. If you have pictures of anyone in your family who's deceased without living people in those pictures, um, you can put them up at your shrine, put down bottles of liquor, you know, you can put down sweets, cookies, candies, cakes, fruits, you know, to give them acknowledgement. You can go um, every day in the morning before you leave the house. And you say, you know, life, peace, and progress to the spirit of anime. Life, peace, and progress to the spirit of Billie Jean. Life, peace, and progress to the spirit of, and go through the list of the people who are deceased in your bloodline, okay? Once you do that, you say, look, you know, it's me. I come before you here today. I need your help. I'm trying to open up this business. Things don't seem to be moving. Please show me, direct me, put the right people in my path. You know, help money to be released, funds to be released, help me to get this commercial space. Whatever it is you're working on, you talk to them, you have a conversation. That's prayer. It's not always a Hail Mary and Our Father. Yes, you can do um, Salat or, uh, um, you know, whatever it is that you do to pray, but also have a conversation with the ancestors. Once you are finished, you knock three times. And then you can go about your business. But your ancestors want attention. Uh, attention. Um, <clears throat> today is October 31st. And so we are in, I think it's called Samhain. Samhain or Samhain, however you pronounce it, okay? Um, and so, uh, and, and that's in the, um, the Celtic culture, um, I believe. But, you know, just all over the world, the veil between the living and the dead, between the 3D and the 5D is very, very thin between now and say November 1st, November 2nd, okay? And so the, the spirits, the ancestors are very close, okay? And this may be causing problems sleeping, tossing and turning, a restlessness, an anxiousness, okay? And the spirit is wanting attention, 
Okay, they want attention. They want to help you. Assign them to do work for you with respect, but say, look, grandpa, when you were alive, I know you were an amazing business person. Help me to do A, B, C, and D. Okay, put them to work and see what happens. <clears throat> because basically spirit is saying, you know, you will have success with them. And if you don't employ them, you know, you may have a rough way to go. Spirit is saying the wheel of fortune is in your favor. Good luck and blessings abound. So once you employ these ancestors to do the work that needs to be done to help you out, you're going to see your fortune changing. Crossroads, a decision has to be made. Okay. So that's the equivalent of like the, the two of swords. Okay. Um, uh, the two of wands, uh, you know, the decisions about to be made. Someone is on the precipice of something. Okay. It's either going to be this or it's going to be that. So it's in this phase of, of it could be a, a bit uncomfortable, you know, being in this phase of not knowing where you're going to go, not knowing where your relationship is going to go. <clears throat> now, Spirit is, has mentioned an STD, sexually transmitted disease, which could be gonorrhea, chlamydia, herpes, HPV, um, syphilis, um, HIV, okay? None of these are death sentences, okay? As long as you're getting treatment, you should be good. But Spirit is saying that someone in this love story either could have an STD or there could be an STT, STD that gets introduced into the love story. So spirit wants you to keep your eyes open. It's no coincidence that in the first deck, it talked about illness, time to go, go to the doctor. So definitely see about your health. A storm of revolution is coming, okay? That came right after the STD card. So <clears throat> if someone is going to, if someone has contracted an STD, is this going to prompt a conversation? Is this going to prompt an argument? Is this going to prompt change, which is revolution, which is the storm, which is the tower? Okay. And so spirit is saying that there's going to be a tower moment somewhere, some way, somehow that hasn't already happened. Winter time. Okay. So this storm, this tower moment could happen in the winter. We are right on the edge of fall and winter. Winter months are December, January, February. So you have, you know, in this time frame, keep your eyes open. I'm not saying be paranoid, but something could go down in the winter months. Maybe it's an STD, this tower movement, moment, something, some kind of revolution is going to change. There's no trust between us. Maybe as a result of that STD, people's, you know, people are looking at each other kind of side eye like, hmm, okay. <laughs> How did, how, how did you get this? Because I know it wasn't me, <laughs> okay? So it's that kind of thing. There could be something that results um, from this SCD as it relates to trust. And the relationship is over. Maybe the relationship can end because there's an SCD or a, there's suspicion of something's not right, okay? Now, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. I don't like this card. And if you, if you watch me, you know what this card is. Can you guess? Okay. Black magic has been worked. So someone is working a route, doing something to put a block, I'm hearing like a blockade, in someone's flow. Someone is trying to impede someone's flow, someone's movement, maybe as it relates to a relationship, maybe moving forward, okay? And so you may see the effects of that, okay? With the traps, you know, this energy, you know, it already started off with the evil eye, the amulet, the crystals that you need, a spiritual bath. And I told you in the pre-shuffle, before I even started doing this video, the card flew out, my head is tingling, you are cursed and you need a spiritual cleaning. <coughs> now, you could pray all you want, okay? And continue to pray. But you may have to do a little extra to get through this, okay? Spiritual baths, mantras for protection, do what you gotta do. 
Now this black magic, I don't know. Is it just candle work? Is it something they're just plotting and planning, you know, in their mind, visualizing you getting in an accident or whatever, you know, things they're conjuring up in their wild, crazy mind. Um, but keep your eyes open, all right? And right after the black magic card is spiritual cleaning is needed. So yes, do the rompe sarawe, okay? I would even venture to say do the white bath after that rompe sarawe, okay? Because the white bath is for purification, it's for clarity, and it's for protection. And the ingredients for the white bath are in the um, description, okay? All right, so let's see. This message is, these messages from this deck are a little rough, homie. Okay. Yeah, guys, there is going to be some shocking news. Okay, so not sure what it's going to be related to, but there's going to be a shocker. This is a second confirmation. Okay, guys, let me do one more. I chose them because they are more my speed and not intimidating. Okay, so, you know, someone may have selected someone that was more manageable um, where, you know, this person may not have been demanding on expectations for a relationship. Um, this person may have been the one that was going to go with the flow um, and not challenge what this person was doing. Okay. And so spirit is finding it um, <coughs> important for you to know this. Maybe this is you. Okay. I'm in love with two people. So there's definitely a choice between two people. Um uh, there's a, a conflict, maybe there's an um, internal conflict within someone about, yeah, I'm, I feel, I'm feeling this person, but my, my heart is with this person, okay? But situation, circumstances may not be ideal for those things to manifest, okay? And sudden shocking news come to, comes to you fast. This, this is the, the, the double confirmation. All right, and there is a serial cheater. So there's someone who cheats um, continually. Okay, someone has a problem. You know, maybe they're looking for love in all the wrong places. Maybe they're addicted to the, um, they're addicted to the chase. And then once they get the person and they indulge in them, then they get tired of them and they move to the next one. Okay, so um, it may have to do with that. But you're not my type. Um, um, you're not my type, but I'm attracted to you. So, you know, there could be someone that is not really, I don't want to say someone may not be in your league, but someone may be in a different discipline. Um, <coughs> 
someone may be in a different discipline um, than what you are in. They may move in different crowds than you, different, you know, cliques or whatever. Um, and so they may not fit your average type. Maybe you like people tall and slim and this person is, you know, short and um, has a little weight on them. You know, I don't know, whatever it is, it's something that is not your typical, okay? I'm obsessed with your pictures on social media. So you could be looking at someone. I'm hearing stalking, someone's stalking someone's page. Um, you could be stalking someone's page or someone's someone could be stalking your page to see who's liking your pictures, who's commenting. Um, but please be careful of accidents and injuries, um, especially as it relates to this <clears throat> black magic energy um, that is uh, kind of like an undercurrent of this reading. Prayers and honey to the river. Okay. And so, you know, spirit is saying um, that you should try and go connect with nature, you know, the God force the divine in the river, you know, uh, you could take a little brass bell with you, a little bell, um, take a little bit of honey, a jar of honey, and you're going to go to the river where it's safe, where you're not going to fall off into raging rapid rapids. Um, and you're going to ring the bell, close your eyes, slowly pour in honey to the river, and you're going to be praying <coughs> and asking. I'm sorry, there's a lot of dust. There's a, a lot of things, um, it's very windy um, outside. Anyway, um, so you're going to be asking for help, assistance, guidance um, as it relates to your love life, um, <clears throat> your love life um, and anything else that's going, going on. Okay. Drugs and alcohol affect their judgment. So someone, I'm hearing, it's spirit is saying someone could get loose when they drink or when they smoke or when they snore cocaine, whatever they're their their poison is whatever their their thing is that they're into okay and this can cause them to be irresponsible um and i don't know why i heard irreplaceable <laughs> beyonce's irreplaceable song um but yeah so so drugs and alcohol have some kind of effect on this relationship, okay? Chakra work is definitely needed. So definitely um, check out my um, mantras for chakra alignment. It's like an eight minute exercise. It's really good. Um, you could do it in the morning and at night to align your chakras. Um, and they're simply sounds like lam, um, bam, ram, Yam, ham, om. Okay, and these are the different sounds of the several chakra, chakras um, that you can um, utter to align your chakras. Okay, that's the beginning. That's like the simplified version. And then if you want to, to focus on a, a specific chakra, you can look for mantras for that specific chakra. You are in the spotlight, famous here. So, <clears throat> what Spirit is saying is that you could be famous in watching this and Spirit is acknowledging you and saying, hello, I see you. Um, or you could be dealing with someone who has some bit of celebrity. Um, that amount of celebrity could be someone who's well-known in the neighborhood, well-known in the community, uh, well known in certain circles, maybe the art world, world, the um, fashion world, um, you know, acting, you know, whatever it is, the the writers world. Uh, <coughs> so, or what Spirit is saying um, is that you could be approaching fame um, and get discovered. Okay, so there is a number of different mean, meanings for that. I'm cheating on you by going on social media and hooking up with people. Okay, so yes, we know that there's dating platforms. We know Facebook has a date, well, meta, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, there's so many different platforms. You don't even need a dating platform. You just go on Instagram, you you inbox somebody, DM someone, and you know they respond. You want to hook up <laughs> as long as the money's right, whatever it is that the people are dealing with. 
someone is doing something, okay? If it's not Hinge, if it's not Bumble, if it's not Tinder, whatever other dating platforms, someone is hooking up with someone. Okay, Spirit is saying reinvent yourself, okay? Change up your wardrobe, you know, um, trade in your car, you know, move somewhere new, you know, get a new job. Do something that is going to like invigorate you, reinvigorate you, okay? And again, your ancestors like the way to your success in love and relationships. So basically what Spirit is saying is, you ain't going to see no kind of long-term commitment and progress if you don't give acknowledgement to your ancestors, okay? This card came up, and I wanted to say it when the first ancestor card came up, but I was like, let me just hold up and let me see how it's going to play out. And the ancestors are like, yeah, no. If you want things to go right in your life, it is in your best interest to give us acknowledgement, Okay. Uh, you are my fantasy, okay? <clears throat> so someone, you know, can, um, you know, they can idealize you. You know, you're idealistic, you're perfect. You know, you have everything that I need, everything that I want, or you could be this person's fantasy. And I haven't been able to find anyone that compares to you, you're the best, okay? And so maybe that's why it was Beyonce's Irreplaceable Song. Because this person is irreplaceable. Like, you can't replace this person. You can try and find it in different people, but at the end of the day, you're not going to replace the energy of what you had with this person. This is what Spirit is saying. I'm not saying this. Okay. Let's look at Sibylla. take this one over here I take them how they fall oh I knew that card was gonna come up <coughs> okay someone's relationship is on the rocks okay this came to the side okay um, this merchant guy came to the side Okay, and I, you know, as I'm looking at this, someone may have gotten hooked up or committed to or married overseas, maybe on a tropical island somewhere, whatever. Um, and maybe this this thing is now fizzling out. You know, the relationship could be on the rocks. People are questioning, like, why did I do this? What was I thinking? Um, okay. Also, Spirit is saying that someone's business may not be doing too well, all right? You have the thief card that came also to the side. So you have to be careful. Um, you got to be careful of um, the people around you, you know, people having, um, uh, what do you call it, alternative, um, alternative motives for you, okay? Um, you also got to be careful of thievery around you, people stealing from you, whether it's an idea, uh, whether it's money, uh, whether it's an actual physical theft of a car or a house, okay? You did get the widower, widower, all right? And so this is the, the tombstone. So the sudden news could be someone being very sick. Um, I'm hearing like fatal, and maybe it's a fatality, a fatal accident, a fatal illness, um, a fatality, Okay, this is a man. So this could be, someone could be um, losing a, a feminine energy around them, um, whether it's it's a relationship dissolving or whether it's actually someone crossing over into the ancestor realm, okay? Um, it, 
uh, this could be also to an ancestor that's trying to communicate with you, uh, maybe by this the name of Margie. Margie um, is coming up, and I'm saying that the 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 candle is flickering. Margie, um, who could be deceased, maybe she was known as Margie, uh, and maybe she's trying to get your attention through the whole ancestor piece. Okay. Um, or it could be a female that's crossing over into the ancestor realm, okay? Um, the house the house is to the side as well. So something's going on with the house, your house, your space. It maybe needs a, uh, a, you know, a spiritual cleaning, smoke it out, <coughs> mop it out, you know, sage it out, frankincense and myrrh, mop it out with ammonia, you know, clean in, mop in with something sweet you know, um, sweet, fragrant, floral, okay, it, it, something wrong with the house, you know, maybe there are spiritual entities in the house, you may be having problems sleeping, you may be seeing things, there may be like an eerie feeling, you know, goosebumps, um, bumps in the night, this is what I'm hearing, okay, spirit is saying that <clears throat> this house somewhere has to be addressed, okay, and then it has this a room. So there's a particular room in your house that is upside down. It's something with this room. I don't know if someone passed away in this room and you don't know it, but there's a spirit there. There's something about this room that causes uh, tension, uh, could, could cause people to be uptight, can cause people's hairs to go on end. You know, that people don't like this room or people don't like to spend time in this room. It's something with this room, okay? And only you know what that is, all right? It's something about an official person, someone um, someone who may be well-known in the community, maybe a celebrity, um, someone maybe who wears a uniform, okay? It could be a man. Uh, maybe something's going to happen to this man. Um, I'm hearing like a fall from grace, and I don't use that terminology, but okay. And it's about, it's it, there's a male energy here. Uh, maybe it's a grandfather energy that's also trying to communicate with you, who's, um, who's deceased, who's um, <coughs> an ancestor. But spirit is like, I'm hearing like a generational curse with the men. Okay, and this is not going to apply to everyone. There's something that's happening in the male, in the male bloodline. And someone could have served in the military. Okay, there is going to be a message again or news. You could, it could be like um, a message of passion that you could be getting a DM, a text message. Okay, so we're going to leave it at that. So you have the official man. You have the main man to the side. Okay, you got the mature man to the side. And then you have the message. Okay, so you may get a message from a man. You may get a message or some news regarding some male figure. Um, <laughs> something going on. Okay. Okay someone in uniform okay i'm hearing like the takedown all right so let's let me pull from this deck i can't remember what this deck is Well, that was flipped like that. 
Mm, let's take that. Okay. All right. Um, so spirit is saying that there's a siren. Okay. Um, the siren is it has to do with temptation that may lead you astray. You know, I have mixed feelings about the siren. You know, the siren was kind of given its name by males historically for women who were very captivating, um, for women who were very alluring that were otherworldly. And so they, you know, they, they understood them to be like mermaids by, but, but like deadly mermaids or like, uh, these female energies, water energies, um, that could entice you, trick you, and then eat you, okay, and devour you, and take you down and through temptation or whatever. So there's a temptation. There's an energy here that's that um, that is introducing or that involves temptation. It could be a female that um, um, figure is figuring prominently with this energy. Okay, you do have fire again. So remember, I did talk about fire um, in the first set of cards. Okay. Fire energy is coming up, reckless, <coughs> reckless energy, uh, I'm sorry, reckless actions lead to conflict, okay? And so spirit is saying that, you know, you got to be careful, you got to watch your step and that everything should be strategic and thought about because if you don't, if you're not strategic and you're not thinking, okay, um, you could be taken out. Okay, you could be taken out of the game. You could be knocked down from all the work and um, that you've invested the time and energy. So spirit is saying, keep your eyes open. Um, also, this could be a literal fire. So just make sure that you turn all candles out. You know, when you leave the house, um, you make sure the oven is off. You know, just be aware of fires, okay? You have the black cat uh, and the black cat can, you know, be a number of things. A black cat can be a foreboding of things to come, that there's there's an energy around you, a dark energy. There's, there's something that is going to, it's like a foreboding, okay? It's, it's sort of like the ravens. The black cat can indicate that there's something, there's an undercurrent of darkness that you have to be um, aware of. Okay, let me get my 95 South deck. And this deck I created, it was like an ode to the 80s in film, in music, um, and in literature. And to the South. Yeah, guys, it keeps talking about the grave, <laughs> okay? Yes, it's Halloween. Um this is not to be meant to be uh, Halloween entertainment, okay? This keeps talking about the grave. Um. Okay, hold on just a second. It's way too many cards. Take that. Okay, I don't want it to be too long, so let's just rock with that. Hold on just a second. All right, 
So baby, I can't fight this feeling anymore. This was REO Speedwagon back in the 80s. And the lyrics are come crashing through your door, okay? So someone is really battling with their feelings, their emotions, like the intensity of like, I just, I, I just want to be with this person. I can't, I can't deny it anymore. Like I can lie to myself, I can lie to everyone else. But it's it's not, it's not, it's not working. And it's actually putting me in more pain and it's torture. <laughs> it's self-abusive, okay? And so this person, this could be you or your special person, you know, it's just like, okay, look, that's it. I'm done. I'm done living this charade, this, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, masquerade. Uh, masks are off. I'm tired of like pretending. Okay. Um, so someone could literally come to your door. They could, um, you know, text you, want to connect with you. Okay. Blood is thicker than water. Okay. So, um, what could this mean? This can mean, you know, this can, this person could be family or connected to family. Okay. And maybe there was a disagreement and now it's just like, look, let's put, <coughs> let's let bygones be bygones. You know, let's, um, just forget about the past and let's just make a new beginning, a new, um, a new future for us. The other thing is you definitely should be watching your blood as far as like the levels of sugar um, uh, in your water content. Make sure you're definitely drinking um, enough water because it's talking about, it's implying about um, things with the blood, the blood being thick, okay? Um, and digging your own grave, all right? So again, you know, this could be, up, and this may not apply to everyone. Just watch your diet, watch your, your sugar intake, okay? Because, you know, um, this could imply that maybe you have diabetes, maybe you're prone to diabetes, maybe diabetes runs in your family, maybe. That's hypothetically speaking, all right? But Spirit is saying that's something, um, that there could be something that's predisposing you to um, an early grave, okay? And so Spirit definitely talked about you going to the doctor and seeing and making sure that you're okay. Um, <clears throat> okay, mama's baby, papa's maybe. So yeah. So if there's someone who's pregnant or someone who was pregnant, the spirit is saying the paternity is up in question, okay? That's what spirit is saying. And I put a spell on you, screaming Jay Hawkins, I can't stand, no put me down, okay? So someone has done spell work, okay? They have done spell work because they feel rejected. They have done spell work to maybe keep a person, to get rid of a person. Um, it's something to do with someone's ego. Like, oh, they think they're gonna do this to me, I'll show them. That that kind of like energy, that... Um, um, retaliation, um, that vengeful, um, bitter, um, energy. Okay. And Scorpios have to be very careful with walking with that energy. Okay. Cause I know for Scorpio, sometimes things are hard to let go of. All right. Um, and so spirit is saying that someone did put a spell on someone, someone worked a route, someone did something, someone wished ill world will as revenge and retaliation. Okay. <clears throat> we have to be careful as a collective wishing ill will on others, okay? Especially as it relates to people having children, um, but also people having spiritual entourages that walk with them, okay? You know, it, you can wish ill will on someone, but you have to be careful those things don't fall back on your children, that these do things don't fall back on your, your if you don't have children, future generations of children, okay? Um, so I am suggesting, you know, let spirit handle certain things. Don't throw things at people because you don't know who and what you're dealing with, okay? Walk on gilded splinters, Dr. John, again. Put Gree Gree on your doorstep and soon you'll be in the gutter, okay? So someone is working some kind of spirit, they're doing some kind of work. We know it's black magic. Someone is jealous of what you have, where you're at, where you're living. You got to be careful. You got to watch that someone's not, you know, putting stuff near your door, out in front of your house, 
drive-bys, all kinds of stuff, which people may or may not be doing, okay? This is also saying, um, for a small few of you, you gotta be careful walking barefoot, okay? Because you could get something stuck in your foot, which could lead to a, a cut, an infection that might not heal, especially if you were diabetic, okay? You give love a bad name, Bon Jovi, okay? So, you know, Spirit is saying that the way someone is going about love and handling love and handling love relationships and things that have to do with love is not going about it the right way, <laughs> okay? Manipulating people through spell work and conjuring. Guys, I know YouTube is full of people, oh, do this love spell, do that love spell, you know, make him stay with you, you know, make her stay with you. Guys, you could play with that all you want, but you better be careful because I've heard of stories where some people have put a, a root on someone to make them stay with the person. And when the person got tired of the person, they tried to leave them and the person killed them saying, you're not going anywhere. You and I are together for life. <laughs> so this is not a joke, not a game. Okay. It's not a joke, not a game. And if you have spiritual gifts and talents, those spiritual gifts and talents are not meant to manipulate and to try and um, change outcomes and destinies for other people, okay? You are intruding on the divine's realm and therefore karma is going to be a real bitch, <laughs> okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I had the time of my life, Bill Medley. Um... And so you're the one that I can't get enough of. This could be love, okay? This is from Dirty Dancing, all right? And so guys, yeah, this is one of a kind, one of a kind, okay? This is something that is undeniable between two people, no matter how many other people the person has dated, where they've been, who they've been with, all right? No one can fill the shoes of this person, all right? Um, there is a bun in the oven, so there. it's saying that there could be a pregnancy that's coming up. Maybe that's where the, the sudden shocking news is going to come in. And just be mindful of the possible paternity, um, uh, paternity concerns and questions, okay? What you do in the dark will come to light, all right? So someone was cheating, okay? Maybe it was a female. <clears throat> and she was cheating and having a little rendezvous with this person and that person. I don't want to say the nail in the coffin is, but, you know, with that pregnancy, now, if she was with two people within a short period of time, that's where the things that were done in the dark will come to light, okay? And also as a male, like, you just got to be careful of who you're raw dogging it with because you don't know, especially if you're in a relationship with someone, but you're stepping out. Last night, a DJ saved my life by in deep. You got all your women around, all around town, trapped in love with you, turn my radio on, saved by um, a broken heart, saved from a broken heart. <clears throat> so music is gonna be very important for you. Do not play music that's going to want to make you slit your wrists, <laughs> okay? I'm telling you right now, that's not a good look. Play music that's going to be uplifting, upbeat, that's not going to make you go down memory lane with how this person hurt you and all that is real easy to slip into that, okay? Play upbeat, motivational music. Um, there was clearly someone who was about time. They were community property or in the words of Naughty by Nature, OPP, other people's property, <laughs> all right? Or community D or community P, <laughs> okay? And maybe that's where that STD came from too, all right? Um, okay, so let me pull from the Ganesh deck before I do um, um, the description of who's involved.
Okay. All right. So the two cards that came up from the um, Ganesh deck, which is um, a Hindu, Ganesha is a, a Hindu deity. Uh, it was concentration, okay? And so something could be affecting your concentration. Something could be impacting your concentration. Um, there could be a distraction when you're trying to work. All right. And spirit is just acknowledging this. So, you know, by doing mantras, um, the mantras like Shiva mantras, um, things of that nature, and you could check on my playlist, that should be able to help you to refocus. Prayers, meditation, yoga. Um, you also have a spiritual quest card. So this is um, your, your, it could be that your spiritual journey um, is really <clears throat> starting or is, is, is like um, gaining momentum now, okay? And so spirit is saying that now it's time to really get into your zone as far as your prayer, your meditation, your mantras for love, your mantras for wealth and prosperity, your mantras for happiness, your mantras to remove blockages and obstacles, okay? There are all this, these mantras and you can check out my um, playlist for the mantras, okay? So let's get in to who is doing what, where, when, and why. This is my people day. Any cars flipped? I don't think so. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on just a second. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm not going to pull anymore. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. So the first card that came out is that someone is a cheater. Okay. That cheating card, this is a double or triple confirmation. It could be someone who's stay at home, someone who's, um, you know, that doesn't have a nine to five job. This could be the person who's doing the cheating. Okay. And they could be relatively young. Um, young is relative. Young is relative to, to how old you are. Okay. Um, something to do with the law and courts that the law could be involved somehow, um, maybe as it relates to illegal activities, maybe as it relates to um, child support, um, family court issues, things of that nature, right? Um, but someone has short hair. So it's someone who has very short hair that's involved in this whole legal issue. Um, Spirit is saying that it's very important for an offering or a spiritual bath to be done, okay? Because um, the situation is, is I'm here, it's getting kind of hectic, <laughs> Okay, that was a part of some song from, I think, like the 90s, 80s or 90s, all right? Um, there's someone that has wig or hair extensions um, that is figuring prominently here. Um, this person could be the one 
who is involved in this spell work, or this person could be the one that maybe there's where, where there's legal issues involved, um, or this could be the person that needs to do the spiritual baths and stuff like that to clean themselves, okay? There is an in-law involved, okay? Um, whether you're married to this person or not, the, if you are in a long-term relationship with someone, it's, it has something to do with their family, okay? And there's someone who's an opportunist, all right? Now, this is the second confirmation, double confirmation. On top of the whole, it's time to go see a doctor, sexually transmitted disease again. And you guys sh sh saw me shuffle on camera. So somebody that has a, a package, <laughs> a special STD package, or they're about to get it, they have it already and they don't know it, better go see about a doctor. <laughs> go to the urgent care facilities. They're popping up all around town. Okay. Go to the ER, go to your doctor and get uh, blood panel work done. <clears throat> um, there's someone who's a Caribbean, a West Indian background, okay? Maybe this is the person that has the STD, okay? But there's someone with a Caribbean background or West Indian who may have something to do with this STD, okay? And there's someone with red hair. Um, they could have streaks of red in their hair. They could have, you know, red hair all around, you know, like an auburn, there's something to do with red hair and this whole scenario here. Guys, if you like the video, definitely like the video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. If you'd like a private reading, definitely email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. Um, until next time, until December and holiday time, um, I will see you then. Ciao.